The FIFA World Cup is the second largest sport event on the planet, and in 2022 it is in Qatar. Fans all over the world are planning to attend. Not surprisingly, one of the most asked questions so far is, will there be alcohol at the 2022 World Cup? Short answer, yeah, there will be, but it will be slightly, or for some considerably, different from what everyone expects. But the long, complete answer is much more complicated than that. However, before we begin, I would like to ask a small favor. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button so that YouTube can continue to show it to others. So, Muslims are not permitted to consume alcohol under Islamic law. However, there is a wide range of attitudes towards its use in many Muslim countries and societies. In terms of openness to alcohol consumption, we can divide Muslim countries into four tires. Tire 4, completely dry countries, where alcohol is prohibited for everyone, it includes Saudi Arabia and Afghanistan. Tire 3, nearly dry countries where foreigners can have a small amount of alcohol for personal consumption. Examples are Brunei and Iran, where only Christians, Jews and Zoroastrians are allowed to produce alcohol for their own consumption, but not commercially. Tire 2, dry for Muslims, but no Muslims may purchase alcoholic beverages in a limited number of establishments. Examples here are the Maldives, Bahrain and Pakistan. And Tire 1, alcohol consumption is permissible and legal for all adults. Tunisia, Morocco and Syria are examples of Muslim-majority countries where any adult can drink. Qatar is on the second of the four tires mentioned, meaning that alcohol is legal for non-Muslims. But non-Muslims can purchase alcohol in upscale restaurants, bars and clubs. Nearly all of the establishments are located within five-star hotels or resorts and charge exorbitant prices. There is also only one alcoholic beverage shop in the entire country, known as KDC, Qatar Distribution Company. KDC is Qatar's sole licensed retail distributor of beers, wines and spirits. The store, located on the outskirts of Doha, sells a wide variety of beverages to licensed hotels and qualifying private individuals. And take note of this phrase, qualifying private individuals. This means that only certain non-Muslim foreigners will be able to purchase a beer at the KDC. Fortunately, my flatmates had a license to buy at the KDC when I lived there. And well, at least I never missed a cold one during the years living in Doha. So yes, alcohol is legal in Qatar. However, getting it is not easy. Or cheap. And when it comes to prices, these are some prices at the KDC I saw last time. The price may have changed since then, in Qatar Real and US dollars, using the current exchange rates. A case with 24 bottles of Heineken, 242 Qatar Real or 65 US dollars. A case with 24 bottles of Amstel Light, same thing, $65. A 1 liter bottle of Whisk Chivas, 12 years, $113. A 700 ml bottle of Aperol, $44. A bottle of Gin Bombay Sapphire, $62. If these prices don't look that high for you, not my case since I would already consider them expensive, imagine that the KDC in Qatar is the equivalent of a supermarket. Therefore, you can expect much higher prices in bars, clubs and hotels. You can expect to pay $12 for a beer in a bar, and that is on the lower range. But, and brace yourself for some bad news, in Qatar, most hotels use revenue management, the science behind airlines increasing their price during high season, for nearly everything. Therefore, when you have events, like the World Cup, prices go up. It will not be a surprise if a long neck of Heineken goes above $15 during the World Cup made far above that. Hotels in Doha are nearly full and there will be no lack of consumers for the city's tourism industry. And there will be a price hike in alcoholic beverage at least comparable to the price increase that hotel rooms had. Yeah, sorry for curbing your enthusiasm. But keep in mind that the answer to the question that prompted me to make this episode is yes. There will be alcohol at the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Only in restricted places for prohibited prices, but there will be. When England, once again, disappoints everyone by being eliminated in the playoffs, we will soak our sorrow with a cold beer. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and remember to subscribe to our channel for the next ones.